Hey everybody! I am here in McLaren Vale at the start of the Flat to Vale Trail. Now it's a 3.6 kilometre trail that's for cyclists, for walking, for families, for push chairs from McLaren Vale to McLaren Flat and it's connecting the communities as well as all the wineries along the way. Now what I love about this trail is that it was built because of the community. It was the community advocacy that got this path built and it has only recently been built. I think it was like a year ago or something like that. So come and check it out. It's just off. What I did was I came from Adelaide on the train, got off at Seaford, rode the Coast of Vines to McLaren Vale and then just as you, you know how you turn off there and go head towards Wollonga, this is where the flat to Vale trail starts. So I'll listen to the birds. It's cool, it's cool. All right, so let's go check it out. See what it's like. Oh cool, we have some of the oldest vines in the world. That's cool. I wonder how old they are. That explains it. So we've passed a few of these signs already, these truck signs. I'm like, hang on, we're on this like bypass. Why are there these truck signs? But of course, because there's all these vineyards, so there's workers and people going backwards and forwards through these gates. I'm so gonna watch out for trucks, obviously not today, but I'm sure there are different times of the season um, with the grapevines and the wine making and the picking when that'll be really busy so it makes sense now. I'm like, what? why are there trucks? That's why. <laughs> they keep going. It's really nice. Really, really nice. It's easy riding. If you feel relaxed, it's kind of a nice place to come and relax and ride and enjoy the quiet and the big trees. And, yeah, it's just really nice. Information about it here in McLaren Vale. So this is when they were building it. So, okay, commencing in 2021, completion August 2022. I'm not sure exactly, but I think it was sometime um, last year that they finished it. But yeah, the Flat to Vale Trail will provide a 3.6 kilometre shared path connection from McLaren Vale Sports Ground, McLaren Vale to Blowett Springs Road. Please stay on the track. <laughs> that makes sense. I can imagine when the grapes are really fat and ripe and yummy, people will just want to like reach over and take them. But no, no, no. Stay on the track. Imagine if everybody did that. <laughs> Meat spirit. Oh. <laughs> It's pretty neat. <laughs> I was like, neat? Oh, I like all the colours. You guys know I don't drink, but I'm sure this is one of the places that... Oh, they do food as well. Let's drink gins and vodka, cocktails, everything else. I oh, they do cranberry and soda served with ice, craft beer. Let's eat. A range of cheese, crackers, dips, platters. Yeah, I'm getting hungry now. But onward this way. <laughs> it's pretty neat that place. The trail will connect to the Coast of Vines Trail in McLaren Vale. 
The majority of the trail is a sealed 2.5 metre wide off-road shared use path positioned between commercial vineyards and Pebbler Creek which is quite scenic and lined with large red gum trees. It is, it's so pretty. The trail segment along the Talk Hill Road will be on road. The flat to Vale Trail is being constructed to improve the pedestrian and cycling safety between townships. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's so community focused, it's connecting the townships. The trail is envisaged to also strengthen the region by supporting and enhancing the wine, food and tourism experience. So I'm doing the Vale to flat. But you can do the current flat to the current bale, vice versa. You can do this like go there, come back, go there. It's such a great trail, like it's just so good for families. Like, it's so flat. It's a really well paved bike path. Really well signed, I have to say. It's really well signed. I think this has to be the best signed bike path that I've ever ridden. So shout out to whoever's um, made this. It's so easy to follow. Places you can stop along the way and have food, wine. Oh, great for kids. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. It's definitely worth coming and doing it if you haven't done it already. And that's it. We're now in the Clarence Flat, just like that. So easy and such a beautiful peaceful, relaxed ride, safe, so safe, so well signed. So now from here, well, depends what you want to do, but if you're into riding on the road, you can head out. There's so many options out here. Or you can just go back along the coast of Vines, go to Wollonga, wherever. What a cool trail. And again, I have to say this one more time, shout out to whoever's designed it and created it because it is so well signed. It is the best signed bike path I've ever ridden. So thank you. All right, see you in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>